beautiful Kufanissi. Um, we've anchored in some turquoise water, beautiful turquoise water, and we've just had a look at the anchor. And although it's in, it's not brilliant, and we're expecting quite a bit of a melt emmy coming. Um, so Carl's just got his dive gear on, and he's going to put this rope onto one of the late moorings that we've seen on the floor um, as we went snorkeling. Um, it's just under there. Hang on, so I'm going to do it. Him swimming down, bless him. So there's a laid mooring, there's a uh, like a block of concrete with a chain attached and no boat attached or anything. It's uh, on the bottom, uh, not currently being used, it's obviously been used before and then they've got rid of it for some reason or whatever or lines broke off an old boat anyway we're going to attach to that and then when this Mel Temi comes in the next three or four days we are secure with both our anchor and this other safety line okay this is what you've got to watch out for pleasure boats coming past Get me back. Done it. Oh, you mean so we can? Yeah, so it like went under and back. To me. And then you can just unhook it. That's true. So you're going back again. So here we have it. We've got the line tied on one side. It goes right around the front, nice and loose. It's tied to the mooring ball thing at the bottom. Not the mooring ball, but you know what I mean at the bottom. Comes around the anchor and tied onto this cleat at this side. So that's it. So we should be safe when these big high winds come. Now I've just got to get Carl out of the water because he's playing and he shouldn't do. Uh, there's a little boat coming past and he's not got a diver down thing on. Um, and this is also going to be using up all the air for when we want to go diving. So I'm going to get him out. You can see the bubbles that are on the floor. the chain on is because although it's sandy here um, it's very very soft sand so where the anchor's gone in we've dived on it uh, it's in but it looks like it can easily be pulled apart so if we get winds of up to like 40 knots then um, and obviously depending which direction whether it's going to be lee shore or not um, hopefully it shouldn't be but you never know um, but we want to be more safe than sorry so uh, this is the first time we've done this um, so let's hope it works i did like the fact that you'd got that because some boats were coming past and i thought you're getting well, further boat, so you're getting further away I could hear a boat. yeah a ring on it and then some chain off with suit ring and concrete blocks like that stuck into the sand. Yeah. Because I don't think 
the anchor is old. No. I think it's a rock bottom. It's hit rock bottom. <laughs> Can you get me weight up? Yeah. No, drop it. Oh, it might be like heavy. Alright, oh, enjoyed that. I know you did because you stayed there longer than you were going to do. I thought, don't use all your air up. Yeah, but you know, because I'm only at six metres. Yeah, but. Use, like, ten minutes rare. We're going to have to go, aren't we? Yeah. So, do you like it here, Jen? Looks like alright so far. What do you think to his job? <laughs> what, what we've just done? Yeah. I think we've done a good job. Feel safe. We can stay here. Safe that we can be able to then, not in strong winds, but we can leave it, leave the boat, and go and happily visit around the island and get a moped. No, they're not mopeds, I always call them mopeds, Stutter. don't they? And have a look round. So we've come ashore on the dinghy just to get a bit of land because it's been quite rough the last couple of days out on the anchor and it's the first day we've been able to. We've just been for a walk around the town and our dinghy's parked just there and we've just walked past it and a woman's put all the clothes in it, left the bag on the top and gone for a swim. <laughs> so I've just said, won't it be funny if we just push the dinghy back into the water, go back to our boat and there's a woman out there with no clothes. <laughs> Cheek of some people, eh? I think there's an old family in Dingy now. So we're just gonna go to a nice cafe. Come on. Oh, we're looking this sea. So while we sit and have a beer, admiring the view, here's a few images of our trip around the town. Well, we hope you've enjoyed this episode. If you've really enjoyed it, why not consider becoming a subscriber to our Patreon page, where we've got over 60 patron-only videos just for you. Don't forget to give us a thumbs up and subscribe. See you next time.